a journey to the jungles of Colombia. We're on our way to visit a tiny yellow frog, and no road can take us there. So from Cali, we travel to Buenaventura, the most important seaport on the Pacific coast. The only way to reach the remote village of Joaquincito is by boat. At the local harbour, we wait for our ride. We, that's curator Martin Bauert from Zurich Zoo and the Frogs and Friends team. With us on board are our Colombian partners, Carlos Galvez and Herman Ferrero. We take a water taxi two and a half hours down the coast, through the mangroves and into one of the rainiest jungles on Earth. There, in the Rio Naya Delta, we hope to find the prize we seek, the golden poison frog. This is where one can find the world's most poisonous frog, possibly the most poisonous land animal, Philobates terribilis. We arrive in Huajincito, a small village in what seems like the middle of nowhere, which is autonomously managed by the indigenous people who live there. To visit, one needs a personal invitation. As soon as we arrive, we receive our official welcome. All the villagers, from the elders to the youngest children, introduce themselves. 240 indigenous live here. Village roads are all raised pathways and all houses are on stilts. The constant rain and strong tides of the Rio Naya govern life in the village. And then we set off through mud and tangled undergrowth to the territory of the most poisonous frog in the world. The locals know best how to find them. The frogs were an important part of their hunting traditions. We pass many of the villagers' farm fields along the way. After an hour, we've arrived. Hey, we need to start looking here. This is the terrible territory. Wow. The tiny creature with its bright yellow caution warning is not hard to spot, and there's a reason for its terrible name. Uh, I know that one frog is enough for to kill uh, uh, 20,000 mice. Uh, 20,000 mice? Yes. Uh, and how many horses? <laughs> horses, I don't know, but uh, about 10 humans. 10 humans? Adult humans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you get it into the blood cycle. Yeah. Although people here used to hunt with poison darts and arrows, modernity has arrived, at least in bits and pieces. Cell phones and motorboats make daily life easier, as do guns, but there's also a downside. Unfortunately, we no longer know anything about how to make poison arrows. Only the elders made them, and they did not pass their traditional knowledge on to us. It is, however, part of our cultural heritage, and that's why we want to rediscover, relearn this lost art. Preserving cultural identity, understanding a frog, two reasons for the same goal. Our day in Joaquincito ends where it began, in the village community centre. Carlos Galvez, the expert on venomous animals, gives the villagers tips on how to get along with snakes. Hands-on conservation in the Colombian jungle. <laughs>